Hello everybody and uh, my name is Narendra Kumar and we are from NRK Academy and today our topic is the wondrous power of philosophy and this has been written by me and it is part of a series of learning. The wondrous power of philosophy. Philosophy is simply the study of the most basic of questions that anyone can and usually at one time or the other does ask about the world as such. Now what are these questions? They are very basic questions like is this the only world which, that we see all around or is there another world? What is this world? Who created it? Did anyone really create this world? Then who is he and how did he come? And above all who said that and when? What is man? What is woman? Who are we? What are all these life forms all around us? What is life? Something plainly material? Or something divine? If it is simply plainly material, then don't we have consciousness? And what is consciousness? And how wondrously it is linked to my body right is this not some kind of almost too much wonder i mean what am i what are we what is life where do we go after death where were we before we were born were we really existing really before birth where we where were we existing if we were existing at all in this world in another world how can there be another world that we cannot imagine? We cannot imagine because this world itself is given to us through our senses. Right? And to posit another world beyond sense, what would that mean? What is this world? What is man? What or where am I? And after death, am I simply finished? All the evidence of my senses simply tell me what they tell me. I am an animal with mind and body inextricably linked, which means you can't separate it. My inner consciousness is there and so is my brain, which we can study and my body, which we can study. Each of us lives in our consciousness and that is self, our mind and body connected. And we are born with the source of deep energy and we live out our life with that life force or life energy. This is what we know. Some get all confused about this and they actually suffer terribly. Most people get confused. And the world goes on with some, with some leading deeply happy lives because they understand life's questions and kind of the answers deeply, but most managing and only living out. That is all. That is all there is to know. Well, this is philosophy. No, no, not the answers, but touching and hence living the deepest questions all the time. Right? I love this. I love life hence. Like Plato, I examine life. I have nothing else to do. At the core level, simply to love and to live. Is this not a wonder that life is nothing, yet everything? <laughs> so that is the beauty of philosophy for me, a sense of philosophy. Ask all the questions fearlessly. Know everything in the sense that you are aware of all the questions which anybody can ask. And hence you kind of know the answers also. So in that sense, philosophy covers all the subjects. This is what we should love and I love. Thank you so much.